Hi, I'm Andrew from Berrima Diesel. Talk a little bit about the evolution of diesel pre-filters and fuel filters on factory fitted stuff. So here you've got a couple of Japanese Denso filters out of a Land Cruiser 200 series. The one on the right hand side is a previous version and it looks totally different than the one on the left hand side. But what they've added is a pre-filter. And it's very important to note that fuel comes in around this outer bowl section down through that little groove in the middle there, not through the top through the groove in the middle there, down, pushed through the pre-filter down the bottom, so any water and anything, stuff like that, as it touches the surface, will then come and drain off the bottom, so much more effective, hence we go to pre-filters. All the guys out there that keep getting confused with pre-filters, post-filters, here is the factory, a diesel injection system manufacturer, upgrading their existing system, with a pre-filter, not a post-filter, a pre-filter, because they know already that the paper is good. That's your main medium there. Very, very fine. There's an argument about two microns or thereabouts as the filtration area for down, keeping damaging particles at bay. So you've got pre-filter down the bottom where the fuel gets pushed through and water and stuff will be slowed down and touch those heavy particles like a foam virtually, drain off the bottom down for your water sensor to bring the light on. And then, of course, the fuel will come up go through your paper, out through that hole in the top there, and continue on to your injection system. So if you're going to add an ink, do you really need to add a pre-filter if they've now got them on them? But if you do add a pre-filter with a clear bowl, that's a beauty, because as a mechanic speaking here, you get to see what's going on. But post-filters are a complete and utter waste of time, no matter how somebody dices it up. You also have lots of sensors in the genuine Toyota filters, and a lot of other manufacturers, for that matter, and those sensors are water sensors and of course restriction indicators as well with lights that come on the dash. So you can see here already there's an evolution in manufacturing by the fuel system makers. With the older system just the main filter where we always added a pre-filter and now they're even adding a pre-filter from the factory for extra protection because they don't want it to play up either. They're not looking after their own pockets. They're also looking after their vehicle to be reliable while it's got you and it's under warranty. Saves them the headaches. So here I am, Andrew from Berrima Diesel, explaining about diesel fuel filters and pre-filters and how the factory uses pre-filtration. You can see more of these videos. Keep watching our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Snapchat. Or look us up at berrimadiesel.com where you can find out more about looking after your diesel correctly.